Today is National Fried Chicken Day, and so obviously to celebrate, we brought in someone in studio who's an expert in all things fried chicken. Here to show us how to make it is Gabe from Hancock here in Grand Rapids. And you don't actually need a fryer to make this chicken, do you? Uh, no, I brought my own cast iron from home. Okay. Um, you just want something with a heavy bottom, um, something that will retain hold heat uh, for a while. Sure. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with burnt fried chicken. So walk us through this process. Start us from the very beginning. Um, so what we do at Hancock, we do a dry brine. That's what we find have worked best for us. Mm -hmm. But most people at home will do a wet brine, um, buttermilk, water, sugar, salt, hot sauce, whatever spices you want. Okay. Um, and then from there, you want to let that set for a while. Go into a dredge, so usually seasoned flour. Um, let that rest for a little while. And then about 315 degree oil, drop it in, fry it till it comes up to 165 and deliciously golden brown. And you make it sound so simple. <laughs> but what are some other things that people should know when making this kind of chicken in their kitchen? Um, definitely, one thing you never want to fill your oil too high. Sure. Um, you always want to use, uh, you know, obviously you don't want it to overflow. You can start a grease fire. Um, yeah. Another thing is you want to use either a shortening or corn oil, something with a uh, really high smoke point. Um, okay. Otherwise, you're going to end up uh, smoking your chicken, burning your chicken. Um, it's not going to taste very good, so you don't want to use anything like olive oil or anything like that. Sure, and so then you just flip these, and for how long do you have them sitting there? Um, try to keep your oil like around 315 to 320 degrees, okay. um, and then you just kind of flip them as you need to, just to make sure they're cooked all the way through and evenly cooked and brown all the way around them. Okay. Um, the only rule as far as flipping them, I would say mostly is is not to bother them too much because you're going to end up pulling all your breading off. Sure, you don't want yeah. that to happen. Right. And for people who do have a fryer, what's a good option for them? Um, if you have like a little stovetop fryer mm -hmm. or, a, or a countertop fryer at home, um, still same, same, uh, same basic recipe, um, okay. same oil, uh, same temperature. Um, usually that's going to be a deep fry, so you don't have to worry about tossing them around and turning sure, them. Sure. You just kind of set it and walk away. This is a handy thing, though, for people who don't have a fryer. No, I certainly don't, so it's a great way to make it at home. And tell yeah. us a little bit about Hancock. You guys are offering a deal today for National Fried Chicken Day. Yeah, for today uh, only, uh, we're doing $1.00 wings of any heat level. So we do our regular level, which is uh, your basic fried chicken like you see here. Okay. We do um, a hot chicken where we dunk it in our special uh, oil. Yum. Um, and then from there we go hotter and hottest. Um, okay. So we add more seasoning, um, more peppers, uh, higher Scoville unit peppers as you go from there. So that all the way amazing. up to Carolina Reapers, ghost peppers, Oh, I'm a spicy food person, but I don't know if I could do the ghost pepper thing. And you guys are relatively new. Where can people find Hancock if they want to come check you guys out? Uh, we are right at the corner of Fuller and Wealthy. Okay. Um, yeah, big white building. Yes. Uh, uh, big, uh, big red letters out front that say Hancock. It's kind of hard to miss. miss. Yeah, you guys yeah, have uh, a great patio area too oh, yeah. for the summertime. Yeah, big patio space. Um, we see it about... Uh, 70 something people out there pretty easily, plus plenty of space uh, to just hang out and have drinks. Definitely. Gabe, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. We have all the details, including this fabulous recipe, on our website at 13onyourside.com. We'll be right back.